to the moon and let me swing among those stars let me see what spring is light on jupiter and mars in other words hold my hand in other words baby kiss me kita nanti lagi Fill my heart with love song and let me sing forevermore You are all I long for, all I worship and adore In other words, please be true Sejahtera Malaysia, how's your week going for you, Aini? Salam sejahtera! Minggu ni has been quite interesting bagi I. I yeah. finally did my spring cleaning a few days ago, Elaine. So That's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, good news, after a full year of adapting to the new normal, vaccines mm-hmm. are finally here in Malaysia. Now you can fly to me, Aini. <laughs> But Elaine, our YBKJ look incredibly amazing. Sama menunggu ketibaan vaksin kita, Elaine. Yeah, And I rasa, happy. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I tak percaya sangat lah kita punya minister saya lain. But like YBKJ kita, hashtag Daddy KJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, KJ, if you're watching this, uh, come to the show. I come to on, on our show. Okay. Betul, betul. Yeah. But yes, vaksin dah selamat sampai walaupun negara lain, negara jiran dah sampai dulu, Elaine. Yeah, that's right. It's here, but it's not for everyone just yet. Oh, yeah. Our frontliners totally deserve it, but it's the ministers yeah. didahulukan, not the rakyat. Ooh. It was reported the prime minister is the first to get vaccinated earlier today, Aini. The oh. vaccines are the one that we have here uh, yeah. are Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Moderna. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow, I, I missed that news, Elaine. So, but yeah. amazing work. But um, mm-hmm. let's hope there is no political circus anytime soon. Uh, well, unless you're the prime minister, then <laughs> apa baja lah. But let's slide away from the topic to our viewers. You know who our special guest is mm-hmm. for tonight. It's all about flying and I really can't wait for it. The Unity Show so. strives to unite the nation through the interests of a generation, regardless of political ideology, race and religion. Our mission is to come together as one and to spread hope. Never hate. Unity, not division. Unity is what makes Malaysia strong. So why do we divide ourselves? Instead, let's keep the faith and spread that faith. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and our website. And dig up a little of what the Unity Show is all about. Yes. Tony, oh Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. We'll be right back with our Tony. Be right back. show our special guest of the night needs no elaboration introduction he is one of the many well-known malaysian entrepreneurs who introduced the first budget no frills airline to malaysians with the famous tagline 
Now everyone can fly. Ladies and gentlemen, AirAsia's leading man, Tansri Tony Fernandez. Hi everyone. Hi Tony, how are you? How are you doing? Good, good, good. Thanks for Selamat having me on the show. Datang to the Unity show, Tony. You are finally here with the full <laughs> background, ready to fly to Earth or whatever, tapi kita, uh, kita terima saja. Well, I'm glad to be here. Sorry it took so long, but you know, it's yeah, been a tu- crazy time as I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hari tu kita baru interview kawan uh, Tony, Datuk Sri Nazir, and he has been telling us how he's a better player at FIFA. Ke a better person, not sure. <laughs> no. um. Previously on the Unity Show. Tansri, Tony was supposed to come on the show. But I guess uh, with you being here first, shows that you're a better player at FIFA than Tansri. I'm, I'm, I'm just a better person. <laughs> well... Uh, no comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Let uh, you know. I don't talk. Watch us play, and then you make your own decision. <laughs> But yang penting, she, he's here lah. I need. Yes, exactly. Tan Street. Oh, sorry, Tony. How is MCO treating you? I can see from your uh, Instagram that you've been keeping yourself busy. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not all bad, MCO. It's been a good time to reflect. It's been a good time to look at myself in the mirror and think, my God, I look like someone from Star Wars. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a different shape to most human beings. And so I've taken up cycling, I've taken up golf, I'm in the yeah. gym a lot more, I'm it's eating good, better. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably working a little bit more, more concentrated, but, you know, I've had enough of MCO and I want to get on with our life and I'm ready to take any vaccine, whether it's Russian, Indian, Chinese, whatever. America. From uh, um, Samporna, I'm ready to take any, <laughs> any vaccine. You've been But very I'm... active on Clubhouse too, Tony. Yeah. Oh yeah, not not that active, but I mean that's quite active. Like I, I keep getting notifications. I'm like, mm, yeah. he's on it again. He's on yeah, tonight. No, no, yeah, just whenever you go in, it's it's kind of weird because when you go in, you just I want to just listen, right? And then straight yeah. away the moderator will invite me, <laughs> and then thousands of others will come on. So yeah. I'm very careful now. But yeah, I, I, I we're doing a show with Naze and uh, Ruben and um, mm. Afzal. Uh, every week where mm. we're going to try and emulate what you guys do here oh and then uh, we did one with our daughters the other day yeah it's i know kind it's, fun. Well, yeah. it's kind of fun uh it, in some ways you know late at night when you got nothing to do it's a it's a good stress buster my friend is addicted people. to it he's up until three in the morning listening to clubhouse it's crazy oh, yeah. yeah yeah i see yeah. i see uh um I, i i see people You know, shows start at seven o'clock and they go on till ten. But yeah, I mean, till way past midnight. So yeah, it's it's a oh. uh, it's a great concept. But do you think the app can I mean can help solve issues rather than just you know people talking no, about it? Well, I, I think any look. I've I've been a big fan of social media. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of Facebook um, because I think that they have allowed a lot of fake news to come on. Mm. But I think anything that brings people closer together is good. Mm. I mean, you know, if the last show um, Jay and me did, no, Naze did, mm. we had like 1,700 people. Now, those 1,700 people hear a view. They may not agree. Yeah. Um, they may agree, but they hear a view. And then, you know, at least it forms them, it gives them an opinion, right? So anything that allows people to debate Yeah. I don't think there's enough debate in Malaysia. I don't think yeah. there's enough True. opportunity Let's to go. really say what you want um, yeah. and around the world, not just Malaysia. Yeah. I think it's good. Uh, will it change anything? Who knows? But, you know, I don't think we're in Clubhouse to change the world. Mm. I'll leave that to Miss World. But, um, <laughs> you know, we're just out there to to kind of say what we believe to a, a, a new audience. Yeah. Okay, lah. So I guess I need and I need to be on Clubhouse uh, more often now We're to gonna listen start to you, Sony. What do you guys actually do uh, outside of this show? Oh, um, well, I'm a designer. I, she is a designer. I am. Ah, um, what do you design? Uh, clothes, ready to wear clothes. Ah, okay. For women or men? For women. Very cool. Hopefully for men soon. Soon. Okay, We cool. shall see. Send me stuff. I'll be. I'll be. I will. I, I won't will. ask you now because in a few months I'll be much smaller. So. <laughs> 
I'm working my way down from XL to uh, Nantikan. To M. How much you have borrowed? Tony yeah. Fernandez kita. Yeah, working on having small breasts and everything. <laughs> and Elaine, what do you do? I know um, I'm, you're supposed to be answering the questions, but it's, <laughs> no, it's okay. Like, it's it's all right. I am a uh, baker in between uh, the show and also oh. my uh, I I act on the side. I mean, oh, very dynamic, cool. So everything's um, pending. Oh, you're a you're a cooking actress, a baker <laughs> actress. Baker actress. Very cool. Sure what, type of, what type of movies are you acting in? <laughs> um, wow, <laughs> I feel attacked right now, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> no, no, I'm not attacking you. I can't you. say. I can't question. say. I can't say. But uh, can't when the say. time comes, uh, okay. we'll we'll get our producer well, to let you know. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Okay, all right. Back to you now, Tony. Uh, you are known for being a visionary. You are known for a quick move to adapt to change, especially with the current uh, turmoil that we are facing now. You introduced Air Asia Digital last year. Was this decision slow, uh, solely based on contingency, or has it has it always? Oh, no, been no. Done? I mean, you know, m- many years ago, the owner of Uber, a guy called Travis Kelnick, uh, you know we were talking and, and a social function and, you know, he said, let's do a joint venture. And I came home and I thought, my God, he's worth 10 times what I am. Uh, but he wants my data. And mm-hmm. so it got me thinking. And all these years I'd been very protective about our data. I'd always, not because I saw this data revolution, but because I wanted to have a direct link with our own customers um, for better or worse. And with that data, I thought, yeah, we can go and build some new businesses. And uh, that's what we've been doing just before COVID mm-hmm. uh, with big pay. And then we, you know, we, we launched our loyalty program way before that. Mm-hmm. But then really during COVID, you know, when we were sitting at home, it gave us an opportunity to really put the foot on the pedal yeah. and drive it harder. And uh, that's what we're doing. Check out the perubahan. Uh, Tony, bagaimana Tony lihat industri penerbangan untuk pulih? Pakar dalam industri meramalkan tahun 2023 untuk pemulihan yang sepenuhnya. Apa strategi Tony, strategi Air Asia untuk bertahan sampai 2023? Yeah, well, I think 2023 is about the right time when it will be fully back, but domestic will be back before that. Mm. Uh, obviously, you know, the uh, our COVID situation was uh, pre the elections was pretty well controlled mm. and then uh, with the elections it, it came a little bit out of control yeah. um, but pre-election our demand was so strong and yeah. then the month of December also flights were very full so when domestic comes back which I anticipate will be about April if mm-hmm. not if not middle of March mm. then uh, domestic will be strong recovery will be very strong mm-hmm. um, you know just before Uh, October, we were flying 13 times a day to Sabah, which is just like... Wow, uh, like normal, usual. COVID, times. correct. Yeah. So I'm very optimistic on domestic. And then I think ASEAN countries will be the next as we start yeah. getting vaccinated. Yeah. People with uh, with vaccines will be allowed to travel, yeah. with vaccination certificates. And yeah. I think you're more likely to fly to Bali or Phuket than you're going to fly to London, right? So That's I'm true. quite optimistic no? by the fourth quarter... Uh, travel will be good. We're still focused on very low fares. We're still ser- focused on serving the underserved, mm-hmm. and making sure we have great connectivity. And we have a lot of plans in Sabah uh, to in- increase connectivity between Sandakan and Tawau to help farmers to move their goods around Asia uh, using our logistics. So, yeah, I'm very optimistic. Um, I think we've had the worst. Yeah. Um, it's like living a nightmare you know every day was like yeah. watching oh. nightmare you know on elm street part yeah. three four five six seven every day was a nightmare Mm-mm. but we survived and i think we're going to come out stronger um kalau ikutkan di dalam industri penerbangan kita boleh segmentkan antara business travelers dan leisure mm. travelers mm. right now some countries like you said are trying to implement vaccine passports quarantines mm. jadi untuk leisure travelers mereka merasakan ini adalah beban Whereas untuk business travelers, mereka tak fikir dua kali sebab mereka perlu berada di dalam negara itu to do business. In your opinion, Tony, patutkah kerajaan membenarkan business travelers untuk keluar masuk negara? Mm, well, I'm not sure I fully understand the question, but let me have a go. Uh, 
I think that you can do it. Um, business travelers, it's going to take a long, we, we're all used to, I mean, look, in reality, yeah. I would have been sitting in front of you in KK doing this show, right? Now we're doing oh, yeah. it via Zoom. Mm -hmm. So business travelers have got used to Zoom. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I think it's going to take longer for business travel to, to resume. I think leisure travel will come back first. Yeah. And okay. uh, I think quarantine won't be around much longer. I think oh, we're when have, a vaccine comes in. Yeah, we're going to have vaccine and we're going to have testing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, anyway, within Malaysia, I think, uh, we, we won't need any form of quarantine. Uh, Sabah has done a great job now. We're almost uh, Sabah 100 uh, in Sabah. So, and I, I think we're also getting smarter in mm. uh, control this, right? With SOP, yeah. with distancing. Yeah. Aware of it. Yeah. So what not to do. Um, I think while it's important to have these green lanes, I think very soon it'll be green lanes for business and leisure. Um, I think that's going to happen together in tandem with the vaccines. Did I answer your question? Yes, yes, you did. Oh, actually, yeah, actually, another question. Just speaking of vaccine, um, you know, like these airlines, they're coming out with vaccine passports. Uh, like we, like with Singapore Airlines and British Airways, they have travel pass, and mm. then JetBlue and United, we have common pass. So will will Air Asia be doing something similar? Yeah, we got one already, um, but I, I think long term, you have to have an international pass, right? Because. Yeah. You know, people will say in one country, oh, is it real? Is it fake? Is it what? Yeah. So we, we have one. Mm -hmm. I'm more optimistic of uh, IATA and the World Health Organization. You, you mm. guys are too young. Uh, but when, you know, uh, older people used to carry around these health certificates to show they had malaria, oh. yellow fever, polio, right? It was a yellow WHO document. I think something similar will come out. Later, yeah. later so that it's internationally recognized no country can turn you down yeah because you know people will say oh it's fake whatever and make it yeah. best again so um while we have it i'm not optimistic that every airline should have one yeah i think it's better to have one internationally recognized certificate to travel yeah. and you know that certificate is probably going to use in many ways not just travel mm. if you imagine going to watch saba football you may have to show that you've been That's vaccinated to, yeah. to watch Saba football team, right? True. Yeah. Um, or if you're going to watch, you know, Elaine do a show. Um, you need to check in. With you need to Eastern check Eastern in. Weekend. She doesn't want to get COVID, so you got to check mm. in. Yeah. yeah now, the vaccine just... doesn't necessarily mean yeah. you are not carrying COVID. Oh, yeah. uh, I was but, about to say that. But, <laughs> but, if you, but if you have COVID... Yeah, and everyone else in the in the stadium has been vaccinated. Irrelevant, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, even because okay. World Health Organization isn't, they're not convinced with uh, vaccine passports because they, like you said, because uh, there's no uh, yeah, I think evidence it's, it's that inevitable. The vaccine can stop transmission. Yeah, yeah, vaccine will stop the transmission for sure. It will break. I mean, look, we've lived through many of these, right, from polio, yeah. et etc., and vaccines have worked. It will definitely stop the transmission. Yeah. Um, but it's, in the early days, it's not going to be the only solution. Yeah. You know, can you imagine? You know, there's an area in KK that I always go. Is it waterfront? All the clubs are there. Yeah. The uh, bars. Yeah, the bars and the clubs. Yeah, you, you might have to show your vaccine cert to go in there. <laughs> yeah, before entering. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just so, want one drink. You know, and and and, and effectively, effectively, you've got my Sajatra to do that, right? That's yeah. so you true. scan the and then you you'll show the you'll show the bouncer that you've also got a vaccine cert. Right? Yeah. I, I look, I'm 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 predicting the worst scenario, but <laughs> I've been around long enough to think that that's going to happen in the short term. Tony, I'm intrigued with um, our farm that was launched last year. I can see a big potential for for the app to grow in Borneo. But mm. how has our farm contributed to uh, our domestic market? Since yeah, the really launch? great. I mean, look. This is completely fresh and brand new and um, a great idea. Yeah. Well, of course, I'm going to say it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, uh, Tun Mahate had come to me and, and said uh, that, um, uh, you know, could you see in whether we can help farmers and improve their mm. margins? And uh, all these years, I remember going to KK Airport and everyone buying seafood. Yeah, frozen airport, though, frozen right? seafood. At the airport. You know? And I began to start investigating and, you know, I, I talked to a former CM and uh, we, I, I said, 
there's a huge potential if you could support us. Uh, it was, a lot of the product was going directly to to Singapore, and a lot of product was going to waste. So I said, mm. how, you know, there's such great fish and such great vegetables. Um, how can we open that up yeah. uh, to the world? And yeah. that's when the birth of our farm came and a platform. And we've opened it up in KL as well. And we're opening up in, in Penang um, and Indonesia. Um, but, you know, the, the, it was born really in Sabah, like many things in AirAsia. And wow. uh, it is, we've had record sales this month. Mm -hmm. It just started the, the fish product. We're building coal stores mm -hmm. in, um, in, uh, in um, uh, Tawau and Sandakan and KK and, and mm -hmm. KL. So I'm very optimistic. You know, it's like the beginning of Air Asia, right? And today is, while we're laughing, is also a sad, little bit of a sad day for me. Someone who really believed in Air Asia passed oh. away yesterday, you know, oh. Irene. Um, oh, yeah. this, this was an amazing woman. Um, and that's why Sabah is so special to me. Uh, before I even bought AirAsia, there was a press article about us, uh, me wanting to buy AirAsia. Mm. Sabah Tourism Board came to see me with this Shangri-La GM, mm. with divers, etc. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I'm nobody. And they, they flew all the way to KL to my little office in, and Irene led the delegation mm. and said, look, we really want to support AirAsia. Mm. We really think Sabah is, is, you know, could be a fantastic place for tourism. And uh, lo and behold, we bought AirAsia and the first place I went to was Sabah. And the rest is history. You know, we, I think together with Sabah Tourism, we changed the tourism landscape in, in Sabah. And hotels were built and were full. Mm. And Chinese tourists came and everyone yep, came. I agree, and, but though and then Tony Fernandez could never get a room again. <laughs> In, in <laughs> so you know that's what we want to try and so Sabah is a very special place and people like Irene were very special to us and we have so many friends and believers in Sabah um, and so you know our farm we hope we can replicate what we did mm. in the tourism for also the agricultural industry how many merchants do you have now on our farm? we now have uh, 500 farmers Wow. Uh, um, and, it was just uh, 45 last year. I know, I know. That's and, crazy. And, and we've had a record sales this month. Yeah. Um, and you're just like AirAsia, right? Look, I started with, well, I started, four of us started with two planes. Yeah. Um, and the first year we carried 200,000 passengers. You know, fast forward pre-COVID, we carried 80 million passengers um, and That's I amazing. had 245 planes. Mm. I believe we can do the same for the agricultural business in Malaysia. So, you know, but talk is cheap. Let's see whether we can really do it. But, you know, Sabah yeah. has been a great supporter mm -hmm. and we'll never forget. We'll never forget Irene who did such mm. an amazing job. We'll never forget mm. everyone who has, who has uh, helped us along mm. the way. Um, Tony, bercakap tentang food supply. Air Asia Food akan mengembangkan sayap ke Johor dan Penang. Tahniah on this expansion. Tapi bagaimana Tony meletakkan position Air Asia Food di dalam industri penghantaran makanan? Because kita dah ada Grab, Food Panda. Yeah. Hey, you had MAS before us. You had uh, Firefly and every other animal airline. Mm. So you know, um, <laughs> we people need choice. People need competition. People mm -hmm. do it differently. Mm -hmm. uh, we know Sabah better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. We know. We know Kelantan. So it's not about just, AirAsia has never been just about the capital cities. Okay. The big companies always focus on KL and Bangkok and these, right? Urban, yeah. So what did we do? We were the first airline to fly from KL to Tawau mm. uh, when there was no direct flight. And then there were, you know, six flights a day. And then mm. everyone else copied us. We were the first guys to go to Sandakan directly, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, et cetera. So again, our food, we are, we're really going to look after the smaller guys, the restaurants. It's not just about the McDonald's and KFC. And we're no. going gonna to look after the, the small uh, cities so yeah. that they have just as good uh, a delivery service as well. Just and as good food. We'll, yeah, and we'll, we'll, do it, we'll do it in our, in our unique way. Mm. I think tech companies have forgotten that the most important people are the delivery guys. But the, the second most important people are the restaurants mm. 
Mm -hmm. Every tech company thinks it's about their app and their technology and all. But I think to most of us, we want a really competent driver coming coming back. Mm. You know, and he's he's nice, he's polite. You receive your food in in the right way. Yeah. Look, when I was delivering food on the first few days, I think I destroyed most of the food. Right? Was I had to I had to really I had, I had well I had to ride on a bicycle. Right? No one because. My office, I wanted to get a motorbike license and I went yeah. for the test and there were uh -uh. like 500 people in the room and I thought I'm going to have to take 500 photographs and I'm sure I'm going to get COVID. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't turn up to the lesson, right? So, <laughs> so I... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, I, so I went by bicycle. I don't think my guys believed I would do it. So yeah, they gave me, my first order was like a nine pound turkey, right? And it was seven <laughs> kilometers to run. <laughs> And, you know, that poor turkey was pretty, pretty screwed up by the time it got there. But the lady was so excited to see me that I think the turkey was secondary, right? She, she, <laughs> yeah, she, really she had matter. no idea. She had no you know, idea that yeah, you think, were actually I think, they, I think her whole office wanted to eat me, actually. Um, but, but, yeah, so competition is good. We're never afraid of, of taking on someone because we think yeah. we're going to provide a, a different type of service but mm. we're not after grabbing food panda we're after creating our own market mm. and creating our own unique air asia style of doing things my friend is on that app i'm so proud there we go <laughs> sugar and i oh i know that one yeah yeah that. Bolognese, yeah. yeah yeah i know that one that was an so, early that was an early early yes. early one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i know uh -huh. my restaurants <laughs> Though I don't need any more because they're going to look slim <laughs> and mm. beautiful like you guys. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that turkey, though, that poor turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, okay, berbalik semula kepada soalan awal yang Ilin tanya about your lifestyle semasa MCO. Tony pun ada mention about working out healthy lifestyle. I follow you on Instagram dan saya dapat lihat Tan Sri lebih motivated dan lebih committed in staying fit and healthy. I mean, memang normal untuk kita ada ups and downs bila nak kurus, nak sihat. Jadi apa yang membezakan kali ini? Apa motivasi yeah, Tony kali yeah. ini? You know, it's been the never ending story. It's like that movie, right? The never ending story. <laughs> like Groundhog Day where you see the same thing over and over again. For 57 <laughs> years, I've been saying I'm going to be thin. Actually, in a different body, I was really a good sportsman. Uh, sport was my life. I was slim. I was fast runner. I, you know, wow. And then it all went downhill, right? And so from about 30 years old till about now, I've been talking about losing weight. But every year, my waist gets bigger. So, you know, everyone says I'm so disciplined. I'm so hardworking. Yeah. But, you know, when it came to my body, I was mm. a disaster. So mm. I thought, I've got to do it. It's now or never, right? It's now oh. or never. Yeah. So this That's is my so ultimate scary. personal <laughs> challenge. It's harder than starting an airline. It's harder yeah. than appearing on the Unity show. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's tough to get on this show. It's a hugely popular show. I had to very, I very agree. hard betul, betul. To, to get in this show. Yeah, a lot of people. And, that's, uh, why you're in the, that's why you're in. That's, you're on a plane right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I need some people in the plane, but you know that's a that's a small issue. But um, <laughs> well, you know, I got to do it, and mm. I, I also felt it's responsible to my kids and everyone that uh, God gave you a body, God gave yeah. you life. I love living. I love life, no matter what is thrown at me, and hundreds of thousands of things are thrown at me, and many people would like yeah. to drive the bus to remove me from this earth. Uh, but I love life. And so God gave me a body and a fairly healthy life. I shouldn't abuse that position. Mm. And so I thought it's my responsibility. And if I knew what I know now about food, mm. I probably would look like Aini and Elaine. But, you know, <laughs> I didn't at that time. I put largest amounts of alcohol in me. I yeah. ate every chocolate bar known to mankind. You were young. And I at 11 o'clock at night, and then I'd go clubbing at Waterfront till five in the morning. You know. Uh, Hurts of being young, Tony. I know, I know, but I'm not going to stop. I'm just going <laughs> to moderate. The word <laughs> is moderation, right? I like yeah, how he's so sincere doing. about it. Yeah, Tony throws it No, I'm not going to stop. I take a brain tea. I just, yeah, you I'm know. Not stop. I'm, I'm still the same. I'm not going to stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live a more controlled life, and I'm mm. going to watch what I eat. 
Yeah. I'm going to exercise and every day I'm going to wake up and think about Aini and Elaine and say, I want to look like them. <laughs> I need that motivation in my life. Okay. I need that motivation in my life. Yeah. I have been telling myself that I need to go on a diet like since the start of MCO and I'm here. Here I am still munching on. I had yeah. tacos earlier. Yeah, your cheeks are getting a little bit chubby. I know this. Uh, <laughs> Eat that santan food. It's the best. It, I do order from santan, right. by the way. Okay, when Sorry. I was in KL, when 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 he announced santan, uh, yeah, we were the first to order. Yeah, yeah very yeah. good. We yeah. love the, the 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 burnt cheesecake is my favorite. Every that time. is good. Yeah, just that FYI, good. Tony. So the burnt simple. cheesecake is uh, my favorite. Yeah, we're santan. opening our first store in KK in uh, three months. So, All right. Uh, I'll be there. You know, I hope awesome. I'll be physically there to launch it. So uh, I hope I'll be there too, Tony. Yeah, so special don't forget me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we'll then we'll go clubbing and have water. Yes. Okay. Maybe not clubbing. Like we have water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Don't pretend, Elaine. I saw you there at sixteen. <laughs> <I mean>. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but uh, uh, Tony, we have a question from um, from one of your I don't know from one of your many many fans. Uh, they want to ask you this for some reason. Out of the out of so many questions, they want they want to know this. Where would you be? Uh, sorry, it, once it's safe to travel, where would you travel to? Your first uh, country. Uh, first, first country outside first of Malaysia. Country. Country. country outside of Malaysia. Uh, yeah, I'll certainly. Yeah. Well, probably, probably, Korea. Oh, of course. <laughs> See, <laughs> but but within Malaysia, it's a. Oh yeah, Look, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not saying this because I'm on the Unity show, but. <laughs> you know, my my old girlfriend from Tawau. I have many friends in Sabah, so. <laughs> You know. So okay, we'll okay, we'll okay, stop okay, there. Okay. We'll stop there. I'll just we'll stop add there. basically Sabah then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right, be there. Look, it's a great place, right? You guys know how to live life. You guys know how to enjoy yourselves. Of course. You're not worried about race, religion, all this kind no, of man, stuff. And it's, it's it's the place, right? That's yeah. why I appeared on the show. It's it's about unity. Yeah. And I agree. Uh, we should all learn from Sabah Hans. Tony, before we let you go, yeah. with what has been happening, well, still is uh, within the country. Do you think there's still hope for our future generation? Yeah, of course there is. What does unity mean to you? Of course there is. Uh, <laughs> unity, you, I mean, unity means that I can understand, Aini. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And accept, right? I'm so proud. And accept. It means that I don't care what race, creed, color you are. That Number mm. one, we're Malaysians. Mm. Like, at yeah. Asia. At Eurasia, I say, you know, I don't care which country you're from. You're first an all-star, whether you're Thai, whether you're Indonesian, whether you're Sabahan, whatever. You're mm. an all-star first, right? And I don't care whether you're old, young, uh, a woman, uh, whatever religion. As long as you want to be the best, we'll make sure you're the best. Mm. And uh, I, as far as I'm concerned, every all-star gets treated the same. Yeah. And every all-star is a unified group. And that's how we've survived because we've been united. We don't have a bunch of all-star Sabahans and a bunch of all-star Kalantanis and yeah. whatever, right? <laughs> We're just all-stars and we either win together or we lose together. And the quicker Malaysians realize that, the better. Because yeah. there's a hell of a lot of competition out there. Why are we fighting amongst ourselves? Oh, yeah. You know, we have the most amazing country where, you know, I don't even know what Elaine is. And, you know, we have... Sino Karazan. Your Karazan, okay. And, you know, so... Half Chinese. And that's 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 the great thing. You don't really know what everyone is, right? Yeah. In Taba. So, and, and it should be in Malaysia, right? And we have everything. We have every color, every race, every type of dialect. You have every type of Chinese spoken. So we should embrace that and celebrate that. Yeah. Not use it in, in a negative way. So I'm optimistic. I'm always an optimistic. You know, we can never put our hands, heads in the sand. We can never give up. Mm. AirAsia probably wouldn't have survived in any other country. Malaysia has allowed AirAsia to be one of the biggest low-cost carriers. And Malaysia made it happen. So we got to believe in our country, believe in ourselves. And we got to make the change. We spend too much time moaning. 
Oh, and yeah. if, and if, we wanna, if we want a better country and we want better things, then it's up to us. Kita kena buat Don't sesuatu. complain. Betul? Yeah. Do it. Betul? Stop complaining. I think uh, we all should stop complaining and actually do the work. Yeah, guys. right. It, 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 you know, it's Come like together. it's like COVID, right? Everyone's saying, oh, this SOP is wrong. This is wrong. Mm. You know, it's common sense. You know, don't go to a rave in Langkawi with thousand people and expect not to get COVID, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you need a bloody wow. SOP to tell you that, right? Um, yeah. So. Terasa siapa yang dengar tu nanti? Let's all use a bit of common sense, right? <laughs> so ni malangnya masih memang tak mengizinkan untuk kita bercakap dengan lebih banyak lagi. But terima kasih tak terhingga kerana meluangkan masa yang sibuk untuk hadir pada malam ini. Stay safe and keep up with your healthy lifestyle. We're rooting for you. Thanks very much. You too. Stay safe. Thanks for having me on the show. How do you say thank you in in Karazan? Ponsiko. Ponsiko. Huh? I think that's right. Ponsiko. Sounds like Kongi Fachoy. Ponsiko. Oh, Ponsiko. Ponsiko. Ponsiko, everybody. kedua of the Unity Show pada malam ini bagi mereka yang terlepas halftime show kami kami paparkan klip pendek oleh dua beradik yang mengemudikan belon udara panas atau lebih dikenali sebagai hot air balloon meneruskan legasi yang dimulakan oleh bapa dan rakan bapa mereka aka balloon mereka juga adalah antara juruterbang wanita yang pertama untuk mengemudikan belon udara panas di Malaysia Sila beri tepukan yang sangat-sangat gemuruh for Izati and Atika Khairuddin. Hi. Guys. Hi girls. Hello, How are you girls? I'm good. We're good. <laughs> could you are guys you guys following the thing? SOP? <laughs> of course, we're in the same household. So basically, we're stuck Boleh together lah. all the yeah. time. <laughs> so which, uh, which is Atika, which is uh, Izati? I am Atika and this is Izati. Oh, no. right. You guys look like, look, well, <laughs> sasu lagi hari ni. Wow. Um, you guys look like twins. <laughs> Good for me. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> But ladies, uh, welcome to the show. I feel the girl power energy tonight having all four of us together. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Aini has been telling me so much about you two for weeks now. And we've been wanting to have you girls on the show. Mm-hmm. Tapi um, masa tidak di... Uh, what, what Mengizinkan. Mengizinkan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when she showed me about what you do, what you both do, I was so excited. And I've... I've never been on a hot air balloon, to be honest. Maybe also because I'm I'm afraid of heights. But oh. and also I might just you know cling on to someone if I if I were to hop on one <laughs> on your flight maybe in the future. But please share your audi- our audience about yourself and what you actually do. Uh, well, first and foremost, thank you so much for having us. Uh, we are our pleasure to be, um, on the Unity Channel. Uh, so basically, I mean, directly we fly hot air balloons, but also backstory is um, our late father started the company back in 1994. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yes, we did long way, long, long, long time ago. So that was 27 yeah. years ago. And whenever we tell mm-hmm. people that the company has been around for 27 years, people go like, like yes, wow. yes, our late father, not us. We were still very small um i was seven at that time oh yeah when you uh, mentioned 27 years lagi rasa lama <laughs> kalau tak lama macam oh 1984 okay kejap lagi oh tak okay lama lah tapi tak bolehlah macam 27 years yes it has been 27 years that the company has been around and it was the first hot air balloon company ever uh, established in malaysia uh-huh. and he was one of the first hot air balloon pilot wow uh, but we only got involved uh, in 2009 
when okay. he first uh, organized the Putrajaya Hot Air Balloon Fiesta, which was 11 years ago. So, okay. So at that time, at that time, our parents, my both our parents, our late parents, they were handling the pilots. So Izati ah. and I, we were handling the public. Okay. Zero knowledge on how to handle people, how to manage people. All they know, oh. like okay, we're bringing these balloons to Malaysia. You both handle the public, aka okay, wow. you know, organizing lah. So, uh-huh. so yeah, so our parents has this like throw us in the deep ocean and try mm-hmm. and float, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it took years, and I think a uh, youth and 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 determination <laughs> really uh-huh. groom us into uh, what we can do today. Uh, so as to date, we have organized ten balloon fiestas in Putrajaya. We did six wow. years of balloon fiesta in Penang. We have attended numerous balloon fiestas around the world, um, like India. Uh, we've been to France. Um, Atika Amazing. won the friendship wow. cup, uh, in friendship. What was it? Asian Friendship Cup in Japan. In Japan last uh, 2019. Wow. Yeah, so we've been around. Wow. You know, <laughs> what an adventure for us. Yeah, you guys definitely have been around. Wow. <laughs> But um, speaking of uh, legacies, or so, you know, when we when we talk about family businesses, some children are not interested, you know, to take over the family Ooh. business. But what Ooh. made the both of you continue this legacy that your I late father, what, late parents started? I think it was only natural for us because every time the festival was held, it was always in March. So Izati was studying Ooh. accounting, I was studying in Penang. So every mm-hmm. time. March happens, I will find excuses to skip my classes for two weeks. We would like create a formal letter from the company saying like wow. I need to contribute to the company, <laughs> to the festival. <laughs> so we always have a two weeks break and then when we organize, we manage the people, the passion just grew from there wow. and we felt like mm-hmm. every time March, I need to skip my class to attend this festival and manage. And it's just then, auto lah kan? It's just automatic ooh, in your... Ooh, ooh. But, but it was never forced upon no. us. But I think okay. they secretly incept us with this, you know? <laughs> They've like, got the soft influence ah, into yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Slowly, yeah, slowly. Yeah, you, I didn't force you, you wanted this. It was like, yeah. yeah betul. <laughs> Asian <laughs> parents macam tu. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Girl, 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 is all yeah. from... Um, I think I want to have this place for helicopter ride lah. What do you think? You're like, oh, I think yeah. it's a fantastic idea. You do it. Yeah. Like, okay. Accept it. Then you have to do it, lah. <laughs> <laughs> like a trick. So slowly, we can be trap you. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's that's yeah. good. That's good that you, you, the both of you, love what you do and the part where it's a family business. Yeah. Lagi lah. Okay. So, seperti mana yang Cyber tadi, both Izati and Atika are both pilots for hot air balloons, ataupun lebih dikenali sebagai balloonists. Yeah. Kita tahu ini bukan benda yang biasa untuk kita lihat bagi perempuan untuk menerbangkan hot air balloon. So how was it like when the two of you went to get your license? Oh, it was really exciting because uh, we we had to go to Spain to do it. Uh, wow! Yeah, yeah. So so we learned how to fly in Spain uh, for a month. We did it. So we were okay. every single day, and then um, morning till noon, and then uh-huh. after lunch we had our classes. Um, so memang best gila. Um, best gila. Yeah, a, 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 just a magnificent instructor who you know you're doing your solo when he brings his parachute. Oh. Tapi <laughs> 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 uh, classes tu every day, every day tu sebulan ataupun ada dia selasa-selasa. It was every day because what we did wrong was, you know, Malaysian, whenever you want to travel out, you want to like, save as much money as possible. So the moment oh, we yeah. went there, we bought the return flight ticket. So we like, beli sebulan, cukup-cukup. So when they saw our return flight ticket was a month, they said like, we have to cramp it up. So you guys have to fly every day. So oh, I see. Balloon school is too niche, the industry. So we yeah, but so- good. Spain and Spain. I, I didn't even know. I put that tahu. They get a penyewa for this. Spain. Yeah. I went to Malaysia je. <laughs> Belum lagi. We Belum all working on it. <laughs> pernah tak rasa? Uh, pernah tak rasa di panas serong? Sebab kita dah terbiasa dengan stigma in our society. Atau you know the fact that 
Okey lah, macam ni lah. Mungkin ada pelanggan yang tak berapa confident apabila melihat juruterbang perempuan yang menerbangkan white balloon tu. Pernah tak dapat perasaan tu? I, I confusedly pernah. Macam... <laughs> We were when we were started the business, uh, another business that we fly passengers, and then we had passengers from Middle Eastern, and he was like, "You're the pilot," and then I was like, I was a bit offended. I'm like, just because I'm a girl, you think I can't fly a balloon? Ah 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 ah. Aren't you a bit too young to be a balloon pilot? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> So, but so Adela, but I think they've never voiced it out. Only okay. after we land safely that they're like, "Wow, you guys can fly!" But oh. before, they will never, they'll never question. Oh, oh dia tak pernah. Tapi nasib lah dia still maintain kali lagi dia setuju dia. Jadi terlalu, terlalu sampai habis dia macam atas baru. Okay, relax. Kejap. Takut nanti ke pilot buat apa apa kita takut nanti nanti sakit hati pilot ke tak terbang mudah ni cedut dia. Sometimes they give you that look lah. Dia macam but. Betul ke dia ni yeah. boleh fly? Wow. But then it's required, bila land dia macam oh, oh you you really can fly, good job Dia macam kasih assurance like, kan? I not only can fly, this is also my business Right? <laughs> 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 you also get that like, oh wow, this is your business? Like, yeah Like, yes <laughs> Girls, ingat tak macam mana perasaan, that first feeling Bila the two of you terbangkan, menerbangkan hot air balloon untuk kali pertama tu? Yes, because <laughs> basket balloon is very small. So when we were doing our training, it was with yeah. our mentor instructor Angel. So it's okay. always at is flying. I uh, can dengan camera akan tak gambar akan kepo-kepo tengok area tu. So uh-uh. we always argue tau. Selalu argue. You know sisters in the confined space ada je budak tak. So I think it was like good memories on us arguing on us uh, feeling the freedom. So bila we got our solo flight then uh-huh. we betul-betul rasa macam oh my god. Sebenarnya sunyi ni kalau you fly seorang. So oh. bila you dapat rasa fly seorang you can feel the calmness and the quietness of your surrounding because in a hot air balloon there's no engine you don't hear anything and it's like a 360 floating balcony so it's just you and nature tau so when thing, <laughs> i did my solo flight it was like the time i was like wow you're like you're exactly one with nature it also uh-huh. explains like our mentor he would like have a notebook that he would write poems when he's flying Oh, wow. he's like completely in his zen mode when he's flying. Tu lah, Elaine, you should try flying at yeah. least once. Like the oh piece- yeah, I definitely will. When I'm in KL, uh, Aini and I, yeah. I'm not Kita sure lah, lah together yeah. lah. I, I'm Kita not sure about that. Begado pula tu tiba-tiba nanti. Elaine, you're in my space. You're in my space. You're in my air. Go away. Stop breathing, Aini. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can we can have one of the the the, the sisters. <laughs> Yeah, also to share our bimbo moment. This is our first flight. And Maybe we should share. Lah. No, we should <laughs> share. Because it's not bimbo. Yeah, yeah. we share. Our first flight. So, we, we, we were flying. And then our instructor asked, Okay, so can you show me where is East? And both oh. our hands, like, Wow, babe. Oh, oh my God. You feel confident level lah je. Tapi ah, knowledge tak ada waktu tu. But you, <laughs> East is that way. Oh god, I'm in for a long haul, you know. Oh my god. Tapi whenever you want fly, memang you guys have a compass kan? Memang kena bawa benda tu kan? Ke tak? You just need to know where the sun rises, then you know where, where it is. is. Okay, uh, girls, mungkin ada penonton. Okay, macam ni lah macam uh, apa tu. Elaine pun tak pernah naik hot air balloon. Jadi mungkin ada juga di antara penonton pada malam ini yang tak pernah merasai berada di dalam hot air balloon yang tak pernah menaiki lagi hot air balloon ini. Jadi apa yang mereka boleh jangkakan sebelum merasai pengalaman itu? Is it scary? Panas ke di atas sana? Pening ke? Tiba-tiba dapat vertigo ke? What can they expect? Okay, fun fact about ballooning is you know where you take off but you never know where your destination is. So every day our balloon path changes. That's the beauty about ballooning. You let the wind takes you wherever it wants. Wow, Lin is freaking out. It's like I will never get on this. Itu cerita yang lain. Guys, can we land in KK? Don't go. But of course, Ile naik dekat Putrajaya. Lepas tu landing dekat KK Sabah. It will take a while. Okay. 
So, but okay. of course, um, as the pilot, that's why you need a certified pilot to fly. So they will do uh, the flight plan. They know where the wind direction is going, what is the wind speed, and the area. We have to be very familiar with the area that we fly. Right. So okay. We can, when we fly, we can spot where are the possible landing sites. Oh, you okay. guys don't decide. Maknanya landing spot tu decide bila ke atas lah. Macam, oh, okay, that looks like a good spot. Um, so, at different height, the wind will blow at a different direction. So, that's how we navigate. Uh, so, macam I say, for example, okay. kita nak go to the east, or we want to go to the west, or we want to get a certain steerage, then we will uh-huh. travel through altitude. Wow. How high do you go up? Uh, our, how long do you stay? That is our human yeah. capacity. If we want to fly higher, we need oxygen. Uh, yeah, supply. But in Malaysia, in Serdang, we fly up to 500 feet because we fly near the airport. Okay. So, they need to give us an airspace, a safe um, altitude for us to fly. So, we fly at 500 feet and higher than us, there are commercial airplanes. Right, oh. okay. Tapi tak pening lah, takkan... Um... Uh, mungkin uh, apa penonton yang tak tahu ni mungkin dia takkan rasa pening tak menakutkan mungkin nak take off tu mungkin pen- mungkin menakutkan tapi tak pening tak rasa scary ke macam mana perasaan tu not really but unless of course kalau you tak makan because you have to wake up really early right so yeah some cases where orang tak cukup tidur and things like that but we do serve pre flight refreshment so we always get them to eat something okay okay so that macam you don't have to okay lah apa yeah but otherwise yeah, I want to do it not a roller coaster right Oh yeah, and one more thing. Sometimes when we fly passengers, we see them in their thick clothing, winter clothes. Yeah. Ni tak. You... <laughs> Malaysia <laughs> tak? Why? The picture kita sama je on ground dengan ke atas tu. Alah, <laughs> dia mau inst- you know, post on Instagram lah. Nak ni! You know? <laughs> Panah lah dalam tu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jadi, penonton-penonton sila dengar ya kata-kata hmm. dari... Pilot hot air balloon, jangan pakai jacket, winter jacket bila nak naik hot air balloon tu. Pakai baju biasa je sebab nanti kepanasan dekat atas sana. Nanti diorang pun rimas tengok. Wow, okay. I, I'm sold. I need We have to go out together. Date, date night. Eh, bukan date night. Dia just sebab during the day je kan, uh, girls. Like, you can only no. fly during the day. Yeah. But uh, uh, ladies, I I know that you've been... Uh, no, not no. You guys have been quite active uh, with AKA Balloon way before the pandemic arrived for many, many years. A lot of businesses were and still are affected right now. Mm-hmm. Um, how was it like for, for the both of you? How was the journey like throughout the pandemic? And um, where are you guys now? Is it operating back back to... Um... Uh, well, because AKA Balloon is uh, solely for outdoor events. So... It really affected us badly and especially last year, we were due to organize our balloon fiesta on the 18th of March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, the 19th of March and we went on into lockdown on the 18th of March. 18, so yes. We had to bear huge losses because all the balloons were here already. Um, but we did manage to stop our, all of our balloonies to come to Malaysia before uh, lockdown. Too lah. Before lockdown mm-hmm. and uh-uh. like so... So it's still it's still a big struggle for us. We had to let go of our beautiful office um, and then our staff um, because there's just nothing coming in at the moment. Uh, but yeah, but we are trying, and there are a lot of um, inquiries as well um, mm-hmm. in our Southeast Asian region. Um, mm-hmm. Want us to do a lot of things with hot air balloons. So we're hoping that the event industry will definitely uh, will pick up. Um, not just for us, for all the other event organizers as well. Betul. Uh, apa insya yang, insyaAllah, jadi apa yang kita boleh jangkakan dari AKA Balloons? You know, where do you girls go from here? Your short-term plans, other than, okay, uh, I know that you mentioned earlier, ada, you know, few, apa tu, projects outside. Uh, but like, right now, like, what is your plan? I think now, we want to make the industry bigger. So for us to make the industry bigger is we need to get more local pilots to come join us and participate in hot air ballooning. So now we're beginning to do, um, planning to do balloon workshop to get more hands-on experience uh, from the wow. people. Wow! So they can actually learn the theory and the practical classes of hot air balloon because not many people know the science and physics behind yeah. hot air balloon. Kan? We want to do like a balloon workshop and get more hands-on experience from the people. Yeah. Berapa banyak Malaysians, uh, you know, like local pilots, uh, balloonists in Malaysia sekarang ni? You're looking at 
Uh, the between two to uh, four, four. There's four horror film by Malaysia. Only four. Only. Yeah. Okay, I need. I think. We speak later <laughs> in private. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah. Okay. We need to expand this industry. Yeah, we need yeah. local pilots. Um, but even like, tak 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 sampai sepuluh pun, Elaine. Yeah. Just four. Yeah. Like, four I was expecting maybe both. ten lah. Yeah. Yep. No, but they there were more last time, but they didn't. Uh, they they don't fly. Continue. Anymore. Oh, they didn't fly. Right? I mean, I oh, they kena bila dapat lesen tu, dia dah kena selalu continuously fly to maintain license tu. Yes, correct. Okay. I think we're like the second generation. The first generation, they they became pilots and then they they don't practice anymore. So now it's like our generation. So that's why kita orang punya semangat membuat buat tu nak tarik more is now lah. Okay. Wow. Uh, tapi will the workshop be uh? Sebulan juga atau dia boleh panjang sebab the course that you went in Spain was four weeks lah tapi sebab yeah. you ada your nak balik tiket nak balik tu kan? Yeah. <laughs> no no uh, but the work is really for people to try it try it them for themselves but it's just a, a short one so it'd be like a half a day thing um, that they can actually try their hands on uh, ballooning experience just to get to know uh, about to how know. it is and if you like it then then yes we will. We will work a way for you to get your balloon license because this we have to work okay. with the civil aviation department as well. Right. Oh, wow, so interesting. interesting. In my head, I just like never thought about like you have to go courses or classes, yeah. hands on this and that. In my mind, it's just naik, buka api, nah. terbang. Yeah. Yeah. Betul. 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 It was good talking about hot air balloons and sceneries and your experiences flying, uh, ladies. It's definitely different from our past. Um, after any talent guest, talent, yes. And it's so so interesting. So good to have you both on the show. Thank you again for being Thank with us tonight. So we much. wish you all the best. Uh, yeah. let us know about the workshops, and uh, I will let you girls know when I'm in KL. Yeah. 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 Hi. Yes, we need more girls. <laughs> Girl power. Girl yeah. power all the way. No. Thank you so <laughs> much, girls. Thank you so Good much. Luck. Stay safe. Thanks Bye. Good seeing you. Bye. Bye. Wow, Elaine. Lepas bercakap dengan kedua-dua tetamu kita pada dalam ini, I rasa macam tak sabar betul nak melancung ni. Nak naik kapal terbang lah, to be exact. Rasa rindu sangat nak naik kapal terbang. Me too, I need especially hot air balloons. Oh. I was honestly scared when they told me they only decide on landing spots when we're up in the sky. But yeah, oh, well, it sounds interesting, and um, it's all about the experience, huh? So everyone must try lah at least once in their lifetime. So I really Betul. can't wait. Betul, Ilan, I setuju. Okay, sedikit rumusan untuk para penonton kita pada malam ini untuk segmen pertama bersama Tony Fernandez kita bercakap tentang bagaimana Air Asia bertahan sepanjang pandemik tentang anggaran bila kita kita dapat untuk terbang semula dan hidupkan kembali industri pelancongan kita. Tak lupa juga Ilan, this is your favorite part. Bagaimana Tony kayuh basikal sendiri untuk menghantar Turkey seberat empat kilo ke pelanggan Air Asia tu? Poor Turkey. I know. Tapi bagi segmen kedua bersama juru terbang pertama balon udara panas di Malaysia, kita berbincang dengan lebih mendalam tentang hot air balloons, pengalaman pertama juru terbang kita menerbangkan balon udara panas dan apa yang para penonton dan Elin boleh jangkakan sebelum menaiki hot air balloon. That's right. You can rewatch tonight's episode on our YouTube channel, The Unity Show. I need tonight is seriously one of the nights yang buat I, I feel like We do what we do oh. for you, Betul. for the, our people. We say this over and over, but this show really is a platform for all the creative people in our industry. So please drop us an email at hope at theunityshow.com if you want to be featured or know anyone who should be featured on our show. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all of our social media channels. Betul. Follow, follow, follow and YBKJ. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Selamat malam. Yeah. Hi.